Hey everyone, Max at the microphone again, and a big Counter-Strike 2 update has finally been released, with lots of fixes, features and content that many have been waiting for. But while you have time, check out Skins Monkey. Use code GABEN and get up to a $5 bonus. Select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code GABEN and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top-up bonus. Skins Monkey links and my code down below. As I said in the last video about future CS2 updates, the developers have finally made a long-planned map rotation with a remake of one of the oldest maps in the history of Counter-Strike. Along with it, they added Palace, Basalt, Aiden and Whistle. Congratulations to all the map makers and let's hope the devs will finally start paying more for their hard work. They also finally changed overpass, removing and fixing lots of problems that the community complained about. One of them is beautiful poop water which nuked FPS on weak PCs. But in my opinion now the map looks a little sad and somehow empty. I would like to pay attention to the new rain shaders and puddles because this is exactly what we have discussed before. Surprisingly, these effects are quite cheap and do not particularly affect FPS. It is interesting that the developers went a little further and it's not only about the surface of the map but also the arms, legs, skins and the whole agent in general. It will be fun to see how this affects the visibility of players in the long run. It is important to note that in the last video we discussed new leaks of dynamic weather in the next Valve game. And what we see now in CS2 is a clear demonstration of what we should expect in the future. Surprisingly, along with the rainy remake of Train, the developers for some reason pushed another version into the game files. A little raw and unfinished but still quite well produced. It was compiled almost 6 months ago and this version has the old layout from CSGO, when on the new remake they significantly changed many positions. As far as I know, one of the key level designers of Doom Eternal, who relatively recently got a job at Valve worked on this map. I don't know why, but the whole map is soaked with easter eggs and various references. For example, the mention of Aperture Labs next to another company from the lore of Counter-Strike, and you can start building theories that these games are in the same universe. Along with easter eggs, some very suspicious hints of future content appeared. There is a sign with a train route at the T-spawn. At the moment we are at the 9th and 10th station, this is the train map itself. Next comes the coastline, which can be a hint of both Lake and Tuscan, especially considering the purchase of rights from the original creator. The castle, it is quite obvious that this is cobblestone and we have previously seen a huge number of leaks related to a full-fledged remake of this map in the winter style. And looking at the new rain effects, we may well see snow. The warehouse is quite difficult to predict, but it could well be a salt even though we haven't seen a single leak related to this map. And finally, the bank, a small map from CSGO, which everyone has long forgotten about. Right next to this sign hangs a bulletin board with two sheets of paper about missing chickens for a cash reward. This sounds especially interesting considering the previous leaks of a new cosmetic item, which is called pets. And what is even more interesting, new mentions of this feature have appeared. The pet population parameter is located in the map settings and we can assume that it will set the number of pets that can be present on the map at the same time. Along with this, a config for the retake mode on the new map appeared in the game files. This mode is still not and was not in the game despite the fact that it has repeatedly leaked in the files and apparently we can expect it in the future. Also, there is some mention of the dynamic shadow parameter, most likely something related to optimization. An option has appeared in the main menu to enable tutorials on maps that will help new players learn the most basic lineups. And to stop people from farting on developers, I haven't even mentioned a huge list of changes with fixes in the netcode, hit prediction, graphics and optimization. Well, and apparently Gabe is now confirmed to be the god in the Valve universe. Leave a comment with a rain emoji if you watched this far and be sure to check out the previous video about the new Half-Life.